how to use Rightmove to search for properties. Rightmove is a really, really useful tool to use and I'm going to share with you some great tips as to how to help you find your very next or your very first HMO purchase. So let me just quickly share my screen and I'll bring it up. So here we have the Rightmove website. Um, so this is a really, really great website. It will help you find properties easily and simply, but I think there are others as well. And if you see in some of my other videos where I've used other tools like home.co.uk, those are ones where you'll find many, many more properties than the ones you'll find on Rightmove. But you can't argue with Rightmove. Rightmove is the number one search tool that most people use when they're looking for property. So I want to run through some insider hints and tips today to help you find your next property on Rightmove. Now the first piece of uh, advice that I would give you is that you need to create an account because this way you can define your search area and you can go back to that search area time and time again and you can set up automatic alerts. So you see here on the top right hand corner it says sign in um, and you can create a new account. So if you're new here, create an account. Now I already have an account with Rightmove, but I'm going to create a new account anyway because uh, it's going to enable me to share with you exactly how to do this. I'm just going to uh, unshare my screen while I do that though. Um, put my details in. Wendy at wendywl.uk and I'm just going to put in a made up uh, password, tester123 and create an account. So then I have an account that is just my account where I can now start to look for projects and properties and I can define them and I can set up an alert as well. So first of all, what I've got to think about is where is it that I'm looking? Defining your area for investment is the first question you have to ask yourselves. So in my case, I invest in Crewe and Stoke-on-Trent. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a search area for Stoke-on-Trent. So I'm going to put in Stoke-on-Trent and it pops up there and I'm looking to buy, so I'm going to put in for sale. This is fairly straightforward. Uh, this area only, price range, let's say up to 125,000. Ideally, I'm looking for the largest property that I can get, so I'm going to, but I'm going to start at two bedrooms, and um, what type of property? Any, I'm not fussy. When it was added, I'm not fussy, so let me find properties that search, uh, that, sort, that, that fit into my search criteria. So loads and loads of properties come up and as you'll see from the page, uh, you can decide whether you want to list them here by the highest price or by the lowest price, in which case of course they just get resorted, but you will still see featured properties at the top. So these are featured ads that people have put on because they want to sell them, they want to do a boost on them or they want to sell them quicker. I can also put them on as newest listed, so which are the ones that have just come up for sale over the last few days. And I can also choose oldest listed. And this is really useful because this shows to you the properties that are lagging, the properties that haven't sold, the ones that have been on the site for months and months and months. And maybe, just maybe, there is a nice juicy deal in there. So you can see here this one, the two bedroom flat, reduced on the 11th of the 11th, 2017. So that's been on the market for nearly three years. That sounds like there could be a deal to be made there. This one here, two bedroom apart from for apartment for sale, 9th of the 10th, 2018. Some of these properties have been on the market for absolutely years and years and years. Now, the best thing with those kind of uh, properties is to phone the agent and find out what the situation is with the vendor. Why are these properties still on the market two or three years later? Why haven't they sold? You might find a great deal in one of these properties. Now, the other thing I want to show you is how you can toggle between the list view and the map view. So if you click on map view here, what you'll see is that the map view will come up and these are all the properties under £125,000 with a minimum of two beds in Stoke-on-Trent. So I can click on all of those little dots and find out what kind of properties are up for sale. What's this one here? One in Berry Hill. 
one down here. Western Coiny. <laughs> Amazing. There's some great properties available in Stoke, but that is an awful lot of properties to sift and sort through. And because I know Stoke-on-Trent quite well, there might be certain areas that I'm thinking, oh, I don't really want to buy a property there. It's either not going to work as an HMO, or I know that the property is going to be a bit expensive because it's in a much nicer part of Stoke-on-Trent. Yes, there are some really nice parts of Stoke-on-Trent. Um, or it might be just wrong for other reasons. So maybe what I now need to do is I want to define my area. I want to define the area that I'm, uh, I'm looking at. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to exit the map view. So you see here on the top left, there's a little button. Exit map. And I am now going to look at this right-hand side of the screen where it says edit search area. So click on the edit search area. And you will see there how Rightmove has defined my search area. So it has said you've put in Stoke-on-Trent, we've given you Stoke-on-Trent and this is what Stoke-on-Trent is to us. But actually I want to define a much better search area so I'm going to clear that and I can now start to choose my own area. Now let's say I choose Hanley. Hanley is kind of the, the, uh, the main shopping area for Stoke. Uh, so let's do a square here. So it's a much smaller area. Now what I can do is I can view the properties in that area or I can save the area and I'm going to save the area. I'm going to call it HMO area one and I'm going to save it. And this means that I now have a saved search area. And if I want to set up an alert so that any properties that come up in that saved search area are automatically emailed to me, this is how I do it. So now I'm going to view the properties that are in that saved search area and you can see here how they all pop up. So really good, really good system. Now for an HMO, I'm trying to get the maximum value for my money before I've even done the refurb, before I've even thought about getting any money out. You make money when you buy. So it's really important that you get the maximum amount of house for your money. So I'd actually like to see if there are some properties that here that have got four beds, which I can get for £125,000 or under. So I've, I've clicked on the four bed and as you can see, nothing's cropped up. So let's look at three beds. Right, so here we have a few three beds. So let's have a look at this one. Three bed terrace in Wood Street. Um, so that might be a possible one, depends on the layout. It looks quite nice, good size. Um, large double fronted three bed terrace, three reception rooms. Um, I might buy this one. Um, let's see, let's have a quick scoot of the rooms. Do they meet minimum room sizes? Um, landing three. Yep, looks like they all meet minimum room sizes. So excellent. So that one looks like it could be a goer. This is a property that really could be great. Offers in excess of 125. So this is how estate agents will often advertise them. So on right move, it'll it'll pop up as being 125, but they want more than 125,000. Now I could do my planning and my floor plans and make sure that this could work. And I would certainly want to go and do a viewing of this particular property. But the great thing about using Rightmove to be able to do this is that I can now set up an alert so that any properties that pop up in this particular search area will automatically filter in to my inbox. So how do I do that? So I'm just gonna exit the map again and, and then once I'm back on the main page with the list showing, at the top you can see it says create alert. So it's put into the, the search panel HMO area one, drawn area. And if I click on this create alert, it will say, uh, it will notify me when properties for sale in my HMO area one up to 125,000 pounds come on the market. And you can drop down how often you want those alerts to come into your inbox, instantly, daily, every three days, every seven days. Well, I want them to come in straight away because I don't want to lose a minute in finding deals in my search area. So now that means I've set up a search area in Hanley on Stoke-on-Trent. Any properties up to 125, that will come straight into my inbox. Really easy to do, really easy tool. You can set up as many different search areas as you like. And every time that you want to have a look at your search area or alter it, you just go here underneath the map view, edit search area, and then you can add other search areas or edit your, your current search areas and view properties in that uh, draw a search box on Rightmove. 
So I hope that helps you. I look forward to sharing with you more hints and tips about how to grow and develop your HMO portfolio. I shall see you very soon indeed. Thanks for watching.